Ready? We're ready. Okay, it's been a minute, but we're back in the unboxing room, and I got two from InStockTrades.com. I'll do the little one first. The form-fitting foam is back. All right. This over a little bit. Okay. Just when I thought I had all the Rick and Morty hardcovers, I found out there's another one that doesn't fit in with the numerical 1 through 8, and that is... Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons, the deluxe edition. And so this is licensed material versus licensed material, I guess. I was a big D&D guy back in the Stone Age when I was in, um, let's see, late grade school, early high school. Played a lot of D&D. So anyway, it's kind of neat. It uh, It's sort of raised, kind of beveled. So it has this tome kind of look to it. Haven't read any of this material, so I don't know. One more in this one. Now, this is the Fantastic Four Full Circle by Alex Ross, original graphic novel. I did not opt for the slipcase edition. It was about 15 bucks more. I actually was considering, I was kind of on the fence which way I was going to go. And then when I got there, it was sold out. So, decision made for me. I got the regular hardcover. Yeah, there was some speculation whether or not this was oversized. Well, it kind of is. It certainly is wider than a standard book. As Geo put it on Omnipros the other day, it's uh, magazine sized. Kind of is. It's kind of like an old school Marvel magazine in that it's wider and probably a little bit taller than a standard comic book, but not as big as a Big Boy Deluxe. Not as tall as a Big Boy Deluxe. But anyway, this uh, looks to be really good. I've never seen Alex Ross penciling before without painting. And I believe this is penciled Alex Ross. So really looking forward to this. I will likely pause my first in, first out order. Because right now I'm reading um, the uh, Swamp Thing Bronze Age Omnibus. Which is really thick and kind of slow. This is stuff written in the early 70s. So I'll probably pause that and read this. Doesn't seem very big. But look at that art. Look at that. Fantastic looking. Did that focus on there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Box number two. Nice foam in that one too. They must have got their foam back in stock. So this just has one giant tome of a book. This is uh, Seven to Eternity. Now I've never read any of this material, but this seems to be another fan favorite. It's got a lot of hype going to it. And it's Rick Remender and uh, Jerome Opanya? Opinia? Not sure how you pronounce that. Uh, I'm familiar with his work in um, the Dark Horse Conan series. I think it was the second Dark Horse Conan. And I really loved it. Very Frazetta-esque, uh, almost painted-looking artwork. And he's the artist, hopefully, in every issue of this. I think so. Yeah, it looks like it's probably Opeña art throughout. And boy, look at that. Look how beautiful this one is. So it's all 17 issues of the series. And man, it just looks great. Look at that. Man. That is a gorgeous hardcover. So, I got three this time. And that's probably going to be a while. Probably going to be a few weeks before Marvel and everything starts catching up. With all those books they push back into October, mostly the ones I'm after. So, we'll see. See you next time.